soul and for the intercessory for Saint John. Saint John Bosco. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Saint John Bosco, whom God raised to be the friend of our souls, set us free from the wells of the enemy, that we may offer our hearts to the Lord, whole and undefiled. Trusting in your immense love of God, we turn to your powerful intercession, that we may obtain the graces we beg for. We pray for our families and loved ones, protect them from all dangers and any form of sickness of mind and body, keep them safe from spiritual decay and moral confusion, conflicts and misunderstandings, separation and depression, sadness, apathy, and despair. May they always remain hopeful in their faith, united in love, and joyful in sacrifice for one another. We lift up to your loving care our children and young ones. Teach them to live as enthusiastic Christians and dependable servants in society. Lead them to follow the ways of the gospel and treasure their intimacy with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Dear St. John Bosco, may we burn with your ardent love for souls as we generously work for the salvation of our neighbors. Bring us closer to the Blessed Virgin Mother, that under her protective mantle we may grow daily in holiness and ultimately share the joys of heaven with you and with our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. St. John Bosco, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pause for a moment of silence as we prepare ourselves for a full, active, and conscious participation in this Eucharistic celebration. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. Our Mass beside for today is Reverend Father Armand Roblesta, SDB. Please all rise as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Guard me as the apple of your eye, in the shadow of your wings, protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace not forsake us, O Lord, we pray, but make us dedicated to your holy service, and at all times obtain for us your help. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Azariah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud, for your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever, or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us, for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day, 
because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received, as though it were burnt offerings of rams and bullocks, or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today, as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now, we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you, and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame, but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders, and bring glory to your name, O Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as 70 times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but 77 times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decides to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison until he paid back his debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me too. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat. Napagbuntong hininga si Lolo Ingkong. Sabi niya, Hay naku, bakit ba may mga tao 
na hirap na hirap magpatawad. Hirap na hirap silang magpatawad. Ano na naman yan, lolo? Tanong ng kanyang apo. Natatanda mo yung lolo andoy nyo. Yung nagbakod ng kanyang lote. Pagkatapos, uh, sabi niya sa akin, yung daw kay mito ko, nakatani malapit sa bakod. Kaya yung mga sanga na may bunga, na nakalaylay sa kanyang lote, kanya daw yung mga bunga noon. Yun daw ay ayon sa batas. Ay sabi ko, walang problema yun, Andoy. Sa iyo lahat yan. Pero isipin mo, yung saging mo na nakatani malapit sa iyong, ano, sa iyong bakod, ay eh, nakalaylay sa aking lupa. Ay di yung bunga ng saging mo, sa akin yun. Ay napikon, tumahimik. Eh ganyan naman si Andoy, bata pa kami, Ayan na yung napipikon ka agad sa aming magpipinsan. Kaya hindi ko napinansin. Kaya lang kinaumagahan. Abay, meron nakalagay na paskil doon sa kanyang bakod. No private property, no trespassing. At kanyang inilagay sa isang maliit na poste at itinirik sa aking lupa. Nakaharap sa akin at nakatirik sa aking lupa. Ay ako na may natawa na lang. Ginawa ko yung binunot ko, ibinaligtad ko, hinarap ko sa kanya, at itinayo ulit. Galit na galit na naman sa akin. Yung ganyan. Eh, bago ko umuwi ng Maynila, pinunta ko at nag-ayos naman kami. Pinaliwanag ko sa kanya na nagbibiro lang naman ako. Ayun, ano ba naman niya? Magpinsa naman. O, walang problema yan. Nagkaayusan kami. O, ayos naman pala kayo, Lolo. Ano problema mo? Eh, nung kamakalawa, dumating yung ano, yung kapitbahay ko na nag-aalaga ng lupain ko. At ang sabi, ay hanggang ngayon daw, galit na galit sa akin si Andoy. Kinukwento sa mga tao doon sa bayan natin. Ganun daw. Ay, Lolo, matatanda na kayo. Bayaan mo na yan. Kalimutan mo na yan. Sabi ni Lolo, ay ako'y kinalimutan ko na talaga. Wala na sa akin yun. Kaya ang ginagawa ko ay pinagdadasal ko na lang ang lolo andoy nyo. Ano naman dinadasal mo? Nakuni na siya ng Lord sa lalo madaling panahon. Okay. Hirap niya magpatawad eh. Hindi biro magpatawad, di ba? Sino po sa inyo ang nadadali ang magpatawad? Mahirap po. Kahit na yung pare, nahihirap ang magpatawad. Sa kumpisal, madali magpatawad. Pero pagka dito sa labas, ah, manigas ka, mahirap din yan, di ba? Kasi pag nainsulto ka, sinaktan ka, hindi lang masakit yung ginawa, kundi yung buong pagkatao mo, parang niyurakan. Yun ang actually deep meaning nun eh. When people offend us, it's not only that something bad has been done to us. It is an insult that strikes our very heart, our very core, our very being. That's why it's very painful. Yang ganyan. Kaya pabalik-balik, ang hirap kalimutan. Kaya hindi biro magpatawad. Aminin na natin kaya yan. Di ba? Yang ganyan. Kaya, for the people of the Bible, during the time of Jesus, forgiveness, forgiving others, is not easy to come by. Remember that they were surrounded by enemies. In fact, they're under the Romans. So deep inside, there is anger. You know, they're on a warlike footing all the time. To forgive, therefore, is not easy for them. You know? Also, for them, offense, insult, sin, is something very heavy. When I insult you, I am not only insulting you. I am actually insulting your family, your, your tribe. For them to belong to their tribe is very important. So when you insult me, you insult my whole tribe. That's not easy to forgive. Isn't it? Yang ganyan? So with this background, therefore, for them to forgive is very difficult. That's why one of the, how do you put it? most beautiful experience they have of Yahweh God is Yahweh God forgiving them. Throughout their history, they have a lot of moments when they were unfaithful to Yahweh God. And Yahweh God just kept on forgiving them. In fact, the Jews 
have a certain celebration. They call it the Day of Atonement, which is actually a day of asking forgiveness from the Lord. They offer sacrifices, etc., to ask forgiveness for all their sins. And this is one big event that they have, one big celebration that they have. So they have this. So forgiveness is not easy for them. That's why the story today in our gospel of forgiving the other, you know, was very big for, the, for his audience. They took it really seriously because they could identify with it. Madaling patawari ng Diyos, pero ang hirap magpatawad ng kapwa. That is their experience with Yahweh God, and that is their experience with each other. And Jesus was telling them straight, no darling, not seven times. You don't forgive your brother many times during the day. If you say many, there is a time, ubus na yung many. Pwede ka nang hindi magpatawad. What I'm telling you is 77 times, meaning forgive always and every time. A union name. Not only all many times. No, forgive always and many and always and every time you forgive. But it's not easy. Maybe there is just something about forgiving. It's so hard. The first step is very difficult. What is it? Actually, it's a very simple one. Decide. Decide to forgive. That's the first step. It's very simple. I will forgive you. I forgive you. Malaki yung ginawa mo, nakaka-insulto, whatever that is. The point is, I forgive you. I let go. I move on. But that does not complete the story. That's just the beginning, isn't it? And it's not easy. I am, I am insulted, I am in pain, and then I decide to move on and for, leave it behind. But decide. For me, that's just the beginning of it. Decide to forgive. It's not easy, Father. Nobody said forgiving is easy. That's when we ask the help of God. That's when we ask, we beg the Lord, the special grace to forgive. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lord, give me the courage to forgive. Hindi mo kayang mag-isa. You need to look at it from the point of view of God. At a certain point, you will always say, I am right, I am not. But then you will just say, Lord, it's for you. What is it you want? Give me the courage to forgive. Decide to forgive. Beg the Lord the grace to forgive. Then finally, do something. Do some little things. Galit ka sa kapatid mo. Batiin mo man lang, kumusta ka? Hindi ka niya sasagutin. Galit pa sa'yo eh. Huwag mo nang dagdagan pa. Basta, kumusta ka? Tapos na. Alam mo, susunod kayo magkita. Meron na yung, kumusta ka? Kumusta yung mga anak mo? Ah, dumagdag na, di ba? Alam mo, sa katagalan yan, kumusta ka? Pwede makautang uli? Ah, di ba? Ayun na yun eh. In Aayos yan. Pero if you don't do a little thing, well, it's, it's Stephen Covey who said, the big victories, you, they are made up of many small victories until you reach a point, you just are okay. Forgiven. Little things, little steps. Maybe during our celebration of Lent, this is one big penance for all of us to do. To forgive. Always and every time. Decide to forgive. 
beg the Lord the grace to forgive. Do little acts of forgiveness. Let us pray to God that we, His people, who have experienced His forgiveness, may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, set free by the blood of Christ, may live in harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christian churches may be brought together in the unity of one gospel of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That married couples may learn to forgive and understand one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us may learn the mercy of Jesus and forgive one another from the heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, sustain us always with your love and mercy and help us to offer forgiveness to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness have this bread and wine to offer, fruit of the field, fruit of the vine and wreck of human hands, they will become our spiritual nourishment. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an oblation pleasing to your almighty power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy o Lord, a fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, 
he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her Blessed Spouse Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John Bosco, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake of his body. Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Lord, who may abide in your tent and dwell on your holy mountain, whoever walks without fault and does what is just. Let us pray. May the holy partaking of this mystery give us life, O Lord, we pray, and grant us both pardon and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Pray, bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. O God, founder and ruler of your people, drive away the sins that assail them, that they may always be pleasing to you and ever safe under your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Father.